What's up everyone and welcome back to the Oval Town Career Mode Season 3 Episode 17. So we're going to do something just a little bit different from here on out. But we're going to do in this episode is we're going to play the first two games starting with Sheffield Wednesday. Seven days there then we'll play Hull. And then the last game of the episode is against Ipswich and we're going to simulate that. So technically we're only going to be playing two games today. And then next season onwards all we're going to be doing is playing two games every single episode. Just to decrease the length of the videos and make them more entertaining because I am finding them very boring to watch myself. So if I can't watch them, I can't expect you to watch them as well if you get what I'm saying. So in the next episode, we'll do the exact same thing again. Play 2, simulate 1, play 2, simulate 1, and then that should be the end of it. I think there's only 3 episodes after this one. So after this episode, there'll be 2 episodes left. So we'll do it in the next 2 episodes as well. Play 2 and simulate 1. And then the next season, then in the Premier League, we'll play 2 games an episode just to make it more enjoyable for everyone, including myself, and then everyone's happy. And this is just a quick look at the table for those of you who care about the table. We have a game in hand and we're still 14 points clear, so I think we can afford to lose a couple of games and still be champions of the championship by the end of this season. So just before we jump into the first game against Sheffield Wednesday of this episode, we're going to run through a little bit of a training session because we do have a massive two-week break ahead of that game. So we get Sissoko, Cissé, Braga, Mitchell and Schmidt all into a hard training session. Can these youth academy players finally squeeze into the first team and get some high enough ratings? We get two stat upgrades, happy days. Sissoko goes from 56 up to 57 and Mitchell goes from 60 up to 61. Mitchell is improving nearly every episode, like he keeps going up a rate nearly every episode. He looks like he's going to be a quality centre back in the future. And just to let you know, just before we get into the game against Sheffield Wednesday, Chi Zhu, the Chinese keeper who we scouted from the Youth Academy, has accepted his contract so he is officially part of Yeovil Town now. And that's it lads, this is where we begin, away to Sheffield Wednesday, we are currently 14 points clear, as I said at the start, ahead of the table, so let's try and squeeze in a few youth academy players, change the team around just a little bit, ahead of this game against Sheffield Wednesday. Yeovil Town, starting 11. We've made a couple of changes, we took out Aina, put in Cissé, also took out Schmidt, put back in Braga in the centre attack midfield position. And then we took out Saunmi and put in Mugabe. So now it's Mitchell and Mugabe in the two centre-back positions. See what their partnership could be like. Could be potential for the best one the Premier League has ever seen next season. Gets to Adrian. Go on, Adrian. Oh, what a ball into Braga. Yes. And double tap across the keeper. Yes. It didn't end up being a double tap, but we end up getting a goal inside the first 15 minutes. We are a very bad team for starting games. So that is an unbelievable result against Sheffield Wednesday. Great ball by Ager into Braga and he is showing me. He's only 16 by the way. Braga is only 16 and he's already trying, basically keeping Schmidt out of the squad. 1-0 up, 15 minutes in. Sheffield Wednesday attacking well now. Can we get the tackle in and start a counter-attack? No, there looks like they're going for a cross. Good ball in. Oh, that's a nice clearance though. That's our ball. Mugabe gets that nicely. Yes, come on. Where's the counter-attack lads? Come on, let's go. I'm back in the centre to Braga. I'm back up again. No, Ager still has it though. It's looking good. We're gone with Vargas. Come on, Vargas. Who's in the centre? Good ball. Take a touch. Finish that, surely. Oh, Kieran Westwood making an unbelievable save. That should easily be 2-0 up there, lads. Bad, bad finish. Sheffield Wednesday with this free kick now. Just at the end of the first half, we get that away, though. Can we start a counter? Go up here to Yukubiak. That's a nice little lad to be having on the ball. He's got some nice pace. Gets to Van Bergen, though. Even better. Better pace. Keep going. You're gone. Oh, I definitely have the pace to beat all these defenders. Ruins that defender. Just keep going. And hit that across the keeper. Oh, Van Bergen. I forgot how bad his finishing was. He ruined literally the whole Sheffield Wednesday defense and whole team. And then, oh, what a bad finish. Attacking well. Mogby gets a nice tackle in. Doesn't fully get it, though. They hit a shot straight at Savar, which worked out well for us. I think that's their first shot on target the whole entire game. 70th minute, lads. I have to make a substitution. This second half is boring as fuck. The team doesn't want to play for me anymore in the second half. So Schmidt is going to come on for Braga, even though he did score. But he hasn't done much in the second half. I'm going to bring on Zimmerman for Van Bergen because I think he's only touched the ball once. And then we're just going to leave it like that, I'd say, and see what happens the next couple of minutes and see do we bring on the last one or not. Oh my god, how did I not get that tackle? Has to be more convincing than that. They hit it over the bar, but it was a good chance. Hit a 1-2. And one more. Yes, and over the top. Good ball into Vargas. Get a good touch. Come on, can we finish this game here? Surely, Vargas. Oh, come on. Where is that coming from, lads? No strength, no pace. He's not looking like a good player at all. Come on, Zimmerman, you're just on the pitch. You should be well rested at this stage. Yes, and get it out on the left wing. Oh, it's a good ball into Adrian. Can he get it? Great tackle. Yes, and one more into Thomas. Surely goal here on his left foot. Oh, we're so slow in the attack, lads. 
this is actually getting frustrating at this stage. Emery Moore is injured and they we're missing him big time. Thomas was too slow there. Vargas was too slow. Adria didn't play well at all. We just about scraped a win there, lads, but it wasn't pretty by one bit. It was actually a very bad game. Mitchell, though, ends up being the star of the show with an 8 rating, and Braga not far behind him with an 8 rating. But they look at the rest of the team, didn't play well at all. Middlestad had a good game, Vargas had a good game, but everyone else, not good at all, lads. Bad game. So the physiotherapist has finally brought us some good news, lads. Butcher has come back from injury. He will be available to play full 90 minutes in the next two or three games. So that's good news at least. We have a press conference. I'm not going to do much with that. And then we have a player conversation. Schmidt came looking for me, looking for better wages. Didn't bother showing it because I've shown it about 16 times this season already. So I offered him a new contract and now he's saying, boss, I'm going to turn down that contract in the second you offered. I appreciate it, but I think I need to change in my career. So I'm going to move at the end of this contract. You give them everything, lads. You bring them up. I started them in the season where I shouldn't have been starting them at all. I gave him his chance. And now he just doesn't want to play. Fair enough. Braga will start the remaining games of the season because what's the point then? I'm not playing a player who does not want to be here. So that being said, we move on into our home game of this episode, which is against Hull City. Can we get some goals for everyone, lads? Because last game, oh my god, it was terrible. Terrible to play. The passing was all over the place. We're missing Emery Moore a lot. But can we improve at home to Hull City? Starting 11 for today's game, lads. We have took out Middlestadt, put in Lindy, took out Van Bergen, also put in Zimmerman, and then we decided to give Vargas a rest and put in Davis, one of our Youth Academy players, who is on the lower rated side, so we might get him out on loan this summer because he's a solid, he's a tall, tall player. He's already scored a couple of goals this season, so hopefully he can improve. Let's go, lads, at home to Hull. Hull attacking nicely down this right wing. All they're doing is keeping the ball, making for a very boring game. Braga gets a nice touch on that, though. Yes. Can we get that ball to Thomas? Oh, that's a nice ball. Yes, and back in the centre. Come on, lads. Brag on the ball. Keep going with that. Oh, absolutely ruined off the ball then. That's surely a free kick, Rev. Brag making a nice run. Now we're talking here. Turn it back and in the centre again. Yes. Yes, and one more. Oh, Davis nearly made a nice attack and run from the centre mid position. Zimmerman's gone. Come on. Yes, and up. And it's Thomas. Oh, that's a good ball. Look at all that space. They had too many people forward. They thought they were going to stop us. Who's in the box? Come on, make the run. Yes, Braga. Goal. Braga just on the brink of half time. I thought he wasn't going to make the run into the box. He just kept slowing down the further Thomas went into the box. But it ended up working out well. Thomas finally uses his pace for good. And a serious ball back into Braga then. Defender too slow tackling. 1-0 up just before half time. Okay, now they're on the attack. Just at the start of the second half. They want to get that goal back that they lost. Oh, but we stop it straight away with Thomas. And he gets it back in straight away. Yes, well done. And Thomas is gone again. Hit that pace boost. Go on, Thomas. Oh, Thomas is way faster than that defender. Oh, he's slow as shit. Can we replicate the goal again? And one more. And that's a goal. Oh, Zimmerman. Please don't tell me you're after missing that. What was that? I need to watch that again. Unbelievable run by Thomas. Yakubiak. Oh, he put it on a plate for him. He put it on a plate for him and he still missed. Oh, my God. Oh, they fuck up. Gets to Adrian. And Bragg is gone. Take a touch and hit that. Oh, oh. I thought the defender blocked it, looked like it was going wide, ends up getting the perfect deflection and into the bottom corner. You could even tell by my reaction I thought it was going wide. What the fuck? 2-0 up, 63rd minute. What's after happening there? I need to watch that replay. They pass it straight to us for a start. Thank you for that. Adrian gets to Kubiak. Kubiak into Braga. Gets up. Oh, that's a sweet deflection. 2-0 up, perfect timing. And makes a lot of room for Yakubiak. It wasn't the player I was going for. I was going for Zimmerman. But Yakubiak, does he have the strength to hold off that defender? No, oh, I thought he had the ball. Just wouldn't get it. Gets it out to Zimmy. Oh, turns the head defender. Swings a nice ball in. Surely a goal here. No, is it going to go in? Oh, I was tapping circle for my life. Oh, it was offside. That's why. Oh, I thought it was just fucking perfect for Braga's hat trick. And away with that. Oh, no, they get a hit. Oh, Savara makes a sweet save. I think that's their first shot in the whole second half on target. We've really improved our game in the second half, thank God. But they do get a corner. Can we get this away? We need to keep a clean sheet in today's game. And it's looking like we do. And that's the end of the game, lads. We win 2-0 thanks to Braga and his beautiful two goals. He's looking like a solid player for only 16 years of age. I'm still surprised that he's only 16, to be quite honest. And, of course, Braga gets man of the match. And Yakubiak and Thomas got the assist for him. 
finally a convincing win in this episode. What forces are at play in Schmidt's shocker? It's been a few days now since the rumour broke that Nicholas Schmidt was not going to be extending his deal with Yeovil Town. Officials have the club remain tight-lipped about the situation, as have the player and his connections. Fans, however, have been more vocal with the majority said to be stunned at the news and hoping that it proves to be false. But the longer the silence goes on, the more credibility starts to build up and those involved don't move to deny the story. Sorry to say it, Yeovil Town fans, but at this moment, Schmidt will leave Yeovil Town in the summer. So the next game is the last game in which we are going to be simulating against Ipswich Town. So I will show you the team now. Hall is up front. Braun and Dawson out the left and right wing. Vargas, Butcher, I'm throwing him in there just to see how he gets on for the simulated game. And Lee in the centre mids. And the back line then is Ezweli, Henriquez, Baker, Lindy again and then Madison in goals. Lindy did play the last game. He doesn't play a lot so he will be fine for this game as well. So we do not have pretty good luck with simulated games in this series. But hopefully today will be the day that changes. They've lost, drew and lost in their last three games. They haven't won in three games lads. If that means anything, we're looking good here. So 3, 2, 1, skip. One hill, Adrian comes on and gets the goal. Adrian and Schmidt came on and Butcher and Hall came off. Hopefully Butcher didn't come off injured, it doesn't look like he did, so everyone's happy. One nil against Ipswich, lads, lovely stuff. And this is how the table looks at the end of this episode, lads. We are 19 points clear at the top of the table, it's absolutely ridiculous. It just got better as the leagues go up. Looking good, lads, Burnley are in second, Norwich in third, so looks like we've basically won the league with two episodes left. So that is the end of the episode lads, if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop it a like, anything you want to say leave it down below and I'll see you in the next one.